Okay, so we're back here at the shop. Uh, we're gonna set up to do some lettering on this gentleman's chest here. I'm uh, gonna go mainly in black and gray with it, so we're gonna set up using some silver back gray wash set inks again. Again, I, the more I use it, the more I'm finding that I'm enjoying the consistency of it and the way that it you know, allows me to get back and forth into the, the tattoo without worrying about what level it's mixed at. Exactly. And so I've been experimenting with it for several months and I'm kind of settled into the way that it works in the skin. And gives me a nice feel once it heals up as well. So I'm definitely going to be using that. Uh, the way they set it up, is that they have a gradual, I guess, cut on each one. Mm -hmm. So you can start with like a, a number four is your darkest, which mm -hmm. isn't quite a black, black ink. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you would gradually work your way down to different, different levels of dilution. It, it just makes things a little easier. It allows me to, to go through it quickly without necessarily having to stop and figure things out because it's done for me already. Uh, with this particular piece, I'm going to use a super tight seven round uh, cam as the manufacturer that I go with with most of my needles. Cam really puts out a consistent product for what you end up paying for it. And obviously, you know, as much as it's an art, it's a business as well. And so you do have to have to factor in costs because, you know, if it costs me more, then obviously I got to transfer that cost on to the customer. And so I try to get as high a quality product as I can and you know the, the cost is definitely a bonus so i'm just checking the needle to make sure that it's running smooth everything's riding up against the back of the tip so it looks like that should work out pretty well 